Here today we're with Scott Alexander from Selden, Mass. We're at the St. Pete Boat Show and this is the second of our series with Scott on Selden, Mass. So Scott, uh, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we often get a lot of questions about people wanting to know what the correct tune on their rig is. And uh, of course, if you ask the rigger, they'll say, well, you go over and you feel the shroud and it should kind of be firm. And obviously that's a real subjective approach with uh, a lot of experience behind that rigger. But I think what we like to see um, boat owners do um, from our, our point of view is that they need to be aware of how the mass looks when, when they're sailing as well as when they're at their dock. So just as you uh, check your engine oil, we, sh we also would like you to um, look up the mass when you're sailing. And some of the things that you want to uh, keep in mind is that the um, the mast should always be pre-bent aft, so it should always have a nice, simple curve going aft in the boat. That gives it stability. We should look at that then, right? Yeah, let's take a look up the mast right here. You can see at the dock, there's a couple inches of curve in the mast aft. That's really good. You don't ever want to see the mast uh, bent forward. We're always trying to keep the mast stable, and the most stable position is, is bent slightly aft like that. All right. The other thing, um, when you're when you're sailing along and you look up the mast, you're going to see that nice curve. And you also notice that the mast will slightly fall off to leeward. And as long as it's a fair curve and falls off to leeward, that's fine. If you look up and you see an S shape, and that the middle of the mast maybe is going to weather, and then the top of the mast falls off, the mast is very much out of tune. Um, and it needs to be needs to be looked at. So we're going to weather. Both sets of stays on both sides should be taut. Well, that's that's a good question. Um, I mean, that's always a question because you always seem to go into whether that lower side's always a little loose. Yeah, I think you know, as, as a general rule worldwide, we see uh, most sailors do sail with their rigging too loose. And um, if we're going to talk about each shroud and what they do, we can kind of look over here as an example. Um, when we start tuning the mast, the first uh, shroud that we tune is called the cap shroud. Some people call it an up. And if you see the shroud, it actually goes all the way to the top of the mast. Yep. And that's going to keep the, the, the middle of the mast and the middle of the boat. And when we start tuning, this is the first one we tune. So these would all be very loose before we start. Okay. Um, general rule of thumb is we tell people on a, a boat this size, you know, 40 footer, that you should be taking a um, as you can with a 12 inch wrench. One thing we don't want people doing is putting a wrench here and a screwdriver in here. You really want to use two wrenches. You put a screwdriver in the body and you're cranking, you can deform the body and then you've got some issues. So always use two wrenches. Um, what I also do to make it real easy is I'll start by measuring the distance between here and here and make sure they're the same on both sides of the boat. And uh, that way you, you know that you're, you're, you're uh, tightening on both sides. So start, you know, four turns here, four turns there, and you're really going to 12 inch wrench without being a monkey, I mean, or a gorilla. Yeah. Like as tight as you can. The next thing we're going to tighten is the forward lower here. What the forward lower does is it, is it creates this uh, free bend that we're seeing, or this nice forward curve. So we're going to tighten that up until we get uh, anywhere between two, three inches of free bend. shouldn't be that loose? Uh, it really shouldn't. Um, if you were to sail upwind with this, you'd, you'd see that it's really sagging off. What, what this shroud does is it takes that little S-curve that we were talking about. Right. You know, if you're looking up the mast and you see that the mast is either sagging in the middle or it's really punched out in the middle, it's because of the intermediate. So the intermediate takes all that S-curve out. And then the final one we tighten is this aft lower. And here's a good example of a shroud that's way too loose. Oh, wow. And what this aft lower does is it, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a check stay in that if you're pounding through big waves, what it does is it keeps the mass from having too much momentum and pounding Pump, forward. Pumping so, back and forth, right? So if we were to talk about what which shroud is the tautest, it's always the cap shroud. Okay. The second tightest is gonna be the forward lower. Alright. The third tightest is the intermediate. 
Okay. And the least tight, and this is still too loose, is the aft lower. So look up the mast. You want to see a nice pre-bend. When you're sailing upwind, you don't want to see the mast uh, with an S-curve in it laterally. And um, another good rule of thumb is if you're sailing upwind and you go to the leeward side, and any of the stuff's blowing in the breeze, it's too loose. So that's a good rule of thumb. You can also go to our website. We've got this great tuning guide called Hints and Advice. What, what, what's the website? SeldonMass.com. That's right. S-E-L-D-E-N Mass.com. Click on manuals. You'll find hints and advice. It's a plethora of information. So go there and have a good time. Thanks, Scott. Right. Appreciate it very much. Cheers.